And because we've linked ChatGPT to our brand's style and also gave it our product list, if we ask it to create a holiday sale ad, for example, that's happening on these dates featuring this specific dress, ChatGPT will use Nano Banana Pro in the background and generate that advert faithfully representing the brand and the product that we asked it to include. And if we ask it to use the same character for a more close-up image, it can do that too and add really stunning detail. And from this same conversation, I can even ask it to have have the text in Russian and also have the model be Russian and this time use the splendor gown instead to be featured in the ad and again it will design that ad for us faithful to the brand's look that we gave it context to and finally I can ask ChatGPT to post this image to Instagram it can suggest captions based on our brand's tone of voice and when we approve it you can see that post now live on our feed and that's all done via ChatGPT when we converted it to become an agentic creative AI system that is now made possible because of N8N's new instance level MCP Connection. So in this video, I'll show you exactly what that means, how to use it to make your own agentic AI straight from ChatGPT, and how this influences the future of creativity and automation beyond any and workflows. Let's get started. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Jay. I spent a decade in creative and marketing work and half a decade leading data teams. I'm now operating our AI creative agency and Robo Nuggets, our education arm, where we have several hundred members, all AI practitioners across the globe. And here, our mission is to make creating with AI easy to learn for anyone with AI training and certification that most people join for, but most members stay because of the strong community we have built. All right, so a few days ago, N8N just released Instance Level MCP Access. And as you can see here from their announcement video, it's already going semi-viral within our space. And for good reason, because in case you're new, MCP, which stands for Model Context Protocol, which without getting too technical, is usually described as a USB connector for AI tools. And what that basically means is that you can now have any AI application that supports MCP to run your N8N workflows. So what are those AI apps with MCP? Well, that would be some applications that are already familiar to you, like Claude, ChatGPT, or even if you're building an entirely new application with Lovable, that is also possible. And since N8N is modular and works with hundreds of applications and can run almost any new AI image or video model right when it comes out, that means that whatever AI app you use, whether it's Claude or ChatGPT, you can now have them use N8N as an entry point to run almost any tool or model that you want. And so the possibilities from just this one integration as it develops further is going to be immense. And so to show one of those possibilities, I'll show you how you can upgrade ChatGPT to have the capability to use Google's Nano Banana Pro through N8N and give it context on the brand we are creating for so that the images it generates align to the style that we want, while also giving it the capability to auto-publish to Instagram, effectively making ChatGPT an agentic creative AI system by itself. And just to underscore why this is such a big deal, I think this development in the space is getting us closer to a future where AI agents stop being tools and start becoming our team. We're not yet fully there to be clear, but in the near future, for example, if you want to be a one-person AI creative agency, you'll be able to spin up reliable, context-aware AI agents who know your brand voice and understand your or your client's product line, and you'll be able to delegate creative tasks to them without a lot of hand-holding. And we can unpack more of those future possibilities later. But for this lesson, what I'll teach you is how to build your first creative AI agent. And there's basically three steps to it. First, I'll show you how you can connect ChatGPT to N8N via an MCP connection. Then I'll teach you how to let ChatGPT access and run your workflows, specifically one for Nano Banana and one for posting to Instagram to demo. And finally, and this is very important, how do you give ChatGPT some context on your brand so that the output it provides you is specific to what you want? So in order to do step one, first we need to go to ChatGPT and if you click on your profile and go to settings, if you head to apps and connectors, which if you scroll down, you'll be able to find this advanced settings, which within that you can find developer mode, which you can toggle us on. And now if you go back, what it now enables you to do is to create your own custom MCP connection. So if I click on this, this is now where we will set up our MCP connection for N8N. And the only thing you need here is this MCP server URL. And so in order to get that, if you go to N8N, firstly, you need to update your N8N to the latest version, which you can do via this admin panel. And then you can just go to your settings. And here at the bottom, you should see MCP access, where you can now toggle on this enable MCP feature. And this server URL is what you need to copy. And if you head back to ChatGPT, all you need to do is to paste that URL in there. There are some notes here around risk because this technology is so new. But once you click create, that should open a single sign on page for you to log into your N8N account. And here, once you click allow, that should now tell you that your N8N is now connected to ChatGPT. So now whenever you open ChatGPT and you click on more here, you should find N8N as an available tool in this chat. 
And if you ask it something like, what workflows do you have access to? It's now going to give you a prompt if you want to continue. And this one, you only need to do once. And once that's verified, it should now show here in this drop down what action it was taking. In this case, it was searching for our workflows. And it's now telling us that it was able to find these two workflows, which we enabled MCP access for. And that is step one already done. So a very simple way to connect your chat GPT to N8N, which is really made super easy because of this MCP connection. Now from that, how do we now enable some of our N8N workflows to be accessible by chat GPT? Well, if you go back to N8N, and let's say you want this workflow to be usable by ChatGPT. All you need to do is to set this to active. And if I click on the settings here, here in the setting options for available in MCP, you can just toggle that on. And so now if you go back to your n 8 settings under MCP access, it should now list all of those workflows that is MCP enabled. Now in order for AI applications like ChatGPT to run this workflow for you, you do need the trigger to be either a form, a webhook, or a chat trigger. And that's just a limitation at the moment because it's quite early for this technology, I opted to use a form because this way you can just run this workflow manually as well from within N8N. Now, as best practice, if in case you're productionizing this, it does help for you to edit this workflow description because then ChatGPT will have context on what this workflow is about and how it can use it. But because LLMs can anyway access and interpret the syntax or the structure of this workflow, usually even if you don't put a description, it works most of the time. And just to illustrate that, if you go back to our ChatGPT conversation, you can remember it was able to correctly identify which workflows it has access to. Apart from running the workflows, you can actually interrogate it to either explain what each workflow is for, or if you're having trouble with the workflow itself, you can even ask it to troubleshoot it for you. So if I just ask it about the workflows the same way that I would any LLM or any developer, it will tell you if there are some improvements that need to be made. And another simple use case is because it has access to the whole structure and all the details of how these workflows are set up. If you're about to share this workflow as a template to external parties, what you can even do is to ask it if there's anything sensitive in these workflows, and it will be able to tell you if there are any API keys that are exposed or any details that are sensitive that you should anonymize or hash. But as we showed in the intro, the real power of this is that now you can have ChatGPT be the one to run your N8N workflows for you. And so just to quickly demo that, what I'll do is send the same prompt as what we did in the intro. But remember, for this run, we won't have any brand context yet. So we'll likely receive an image, but it's probably not going to be aligned to the brand aesthetic that we are after, which I'll show in step three. But now, again, because this is so new, whenever ChatGPT tries to execute a workflow in one thread, you do need to tick this box and click on confirm, just so that it has the right permission to always use that execute workflow command. So now if we unfurl this just to see what ChatGPT really did under the hood, all it did is send some inputs to this workflow, which would be this one, to send off this prompt. And here at the bottom, if I check the results, which by default, it just returns to you the URL to that image. But later on, I'll teach you how to include in the system prompt for it to always include the preview of that image here in the chat. And here, as you can see, if we just zoom out a bit, that it is obviously not ideal. So even if this used Nano Banana Pro, because it doesn't have context on the brand or the products that you're trying to promote, yes, it was able to adhere to the text that you want, but it doesn't have context on the style and the mood that you are trying to convey for this brand. But at least for this step two, once you're able to successfully run this N8N workflow, which you can validate, by the way, if you go to executions, you'll be able to see this specific run that was triggered by ChatGPT itself. And if I open this last node, and if we just expand this so you can see, you'll see that essentially this node called on the Nano Banana Pro model in order to generate this PNG image file, which is the one that ChatGPT just grabbed and sent back to you here in your chat. And by the way, in case you're new to N8N, we have a lot of previous lessons on how you can set up something like this that lets you use practically any AI model here in your automations. And what's great about N8N too, is that if you have this template, which we'll make available in the community, which you can just download along with all the other resources in this video, you can just import those into N8N and that will create the automations for you from scratch. But now that we've successfully connected our N8N workflows to ChatGPT, how do we now give it context on the brand or project that it is creating for? So we'll do that here in step three, where if you go back to ChatGPT, right now, I think the best way to do this is via their projects feature. So if I go ahead and create a new project here, I can just give it a name and also select an icon if I want to customize it. And before you create it, I suggest you click on the settings here and change this to project only if in case you need to work with a team or a client and you need to share this project with them. Because one of the benefits of doing it this way is that you can actually share projects with fellow team members or customers so that they too can use this agent. So with that setup, I can now create this project. And same with regular chat GPT, all the MCP tools that you enabled are still accessible here, including N8N. But now to give it context about your brand, the best way to do that is to click on this ellipsis at the top right 
and click on add custom instructions. And so if you've worked with N8N before, this is pretty much the same as adding a system guideline. So if you want all the chats in this certain project to behave a certain way, then this is where you do it. And so to make this easy, I've made available the system guidelines here in our community, which you can just go ahead and copy and paste here. And now we just click on save. And just to go through the important points of the system guideline so that you can set it up as well. Obviously, this depends on how you want to work with it. But I did include a request here to always confirm with me the prompt that it's about to send so that we can inspect it before it activates Nano Banana Pro. And then here in this bullet point is where we are instructing it to always return the final image URL as an inline image preview because we want to see it inline in the chat. And finally, if I scroll down here, you can see that for this demo, I included three specific assets for it to have access to. These two ones are example products from the brand itself. You can see this URL just points to this image of the man on mini dress. And then this other product points to the splendor gown, which is this image. And to get these URLs, in case your products are already online, what you can simply do is do a right click and copy the image address. And you'll be able to get a URL like this that ends in an extension that is for an image like WebP or PNG or JPEG. But in case you need a place to upload them, I can recommend Cloudinary because they have a really good pre-plan where you can upload assets like this. And here you'll be able to copy a URL that you can use for your automations. And finally, and probably most importantly, is we also gave it reference on this brand book, which if we open this link, it leads to this brand book that we made for Azure, including the style aesthetic that we are after, the main color palettes that we use, the tone of voice of what this brand speaks about, and even the types of font that we are after. And the crazy part about AI's capabilities now is that we didn't design this ourselves. We had Nano Banana Pro design this for us. So you can definitely make this yourself. But in case you want to create a brand book from scratch, we also included that universal prompt that you can use here in the community resource page. But that said, now that we have our custom instructions set up, we can now instruct this agent to create adverts for us, similar to what we did in the intro. So for this one, just for it to be a bit different, let's say we want a Black Friday ad with these instructions, we can just send that off. And because it has context on the product as well as the brand, the first thing it's going to do, because I instructed it, is to check the prompt with me first. And this is important because in a sense, it automatically builds in the human in the loop component in AI creation, which is very important if you've worked with AI before. So looking at that, it seems to be good. So we ask it to go for it. And now it's going to call on Nano Banana Pro through N8N in order to generate this image for us. And after a few seconds, it was able to generate that image now. And you can see it was able to replicate the brand logo, the aesthetic of it, as well as the actual dress that we want to promote. And so if you compare this with what we had from earlier, with ChatGPT having no context on the brand, it is pretty much night and day. And so since this one looks good, what we can now instruct ChatGPT to do is to post it to Instagram. What it's now going to do is to call on this specific workflow that can upload to Instagram automatically. And again, if you want to learn this, we have a couple more lessons in the past on how you can set up something like this. And now ChatGPT confirmed that it's live on Instagram. And if you go to our test profile here, you can see that post already live along with the caption that we chose. And like I mentioned, what's great about projects is that if you need to share this with a team or a client, you can just share this similar to what you would do in a Google Doc, for example, which you can do just straight from ChatGPT's share feature. Now, to be clear, because this tech is so new, it does have its limitations at the moment. The first one is to use Nano Banana Pro in an auto Automation, like what we showed, it does cost 14 cents per image for the pro model and when using WaveSpeed AI, which is the provider we used in that example. If you are after the cheapest, you can also use Key AI, which is another provider because they offer Nano Banana Pro now at only 9 cents. The other thing is for MCP at the moment, it only works for ChatGPT Plus users and the same applies to Claude when last we tested it. But no doubt, as this space develops, it will probably be enabled even for the lower tiers. The third thing that you may have noticed is that when we gave ChatGPT context on our images and our brand, we had to include them as media URLs. And the main reason for that, because as of right now, ChatGPT cannot send full image files yet to N8N via this MCP connection because they're just simply too big in terms of the data size. And then finally, you might be curious if you can use this for video workflows right now. The short answer is yes, you can. But one key limitation that we found, at least with the current version of N8N's MCP connection, is that it times out at around the 60 second time limit. And so since a lot of video models take longer than 60 seconds to generate a video, you will likely encounter some issues when you're trying to set up Sora or VO3 in this same method. With that said, these are mostly early pains because this is new technology. I'm sure that as this space develops, a lot of these problems will be solved as well. And so if you want to get ahead, I highly encourage you to try this out for yourself. And as mentioned, all of the resources we featured here, you can access inside the Robo Nuggets community, which if you're passionate about creating with AI and want to earn from that passion, then I encourage you to check it out. You get a lot of exclusive AI training courses here, including training certification when you complete them. You can connect with a community.
community of 1,000 plus AI practitioners who share paid opportunities and potential partnerships. And recently, we also teamed up with 570 plus of the top AI and SaaS tools to give massive savings and free credits for our annual members, which actually already cover the cost of membership. And finally, we run prized learning events too, like this one in December with a $3,000 prize pool. So check that out to see if that's for you just in the link down below. And also, if you found value in this video, then consider subscribing because that helps us a lot to make more educational content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.